Hello and welcome to Chalk Talk. My name is John Hawkins. I'm a product marketing uh, manager at Sienna. And today's topic is Carrier Ethernet 2.0. So what is Carrier Ethernet? Uh, there are two different ways to look at it. One is a technical definition, and we'll talk about that. But even before we get there, it is a convenient label, our market term, which you will hear more and more in the Carrier Ethernet marketplace, and we'll explore that one first. The use of the term Carrier Ethernet 2.0 is first and foremost a realization that Carrier Ethernet has come of age. It has reached the mainstream of its market. It's no longer a science experiment or something that people are trialing. It's actually something that is being ordered uh, and offered today. Just a few months ago, the, uh, the MEF, Metro Ethernet Forum, coined the term Carrier Ethernet 2.0 to describe the second generation of Carrier Ethernet. But there's also a technical definition which the Metro Ethernet Forum, or MEF, has put forward. You may recall that the MEF created the concept of Carrier Ethernet a few years ago now and labeled it or defined it as having five attributes. Those were scalability, reliability, quality of service, standardized services, and service management. So these five attributes were captured in various MEF documents. The two main ones were MEF 6 and MEF 10. Those in turn were transformed into test suites known as MEF 9 and MEF 14, which became the basis for MEF certifications. Both equipment and services could be certified against MEF 9 and MEF 14. With the evolution of those standards, however, new documents were approved by the MEF. MEF 6.1, MEF 6.1.1, MEF 10.2, MEF 21, 33, it got fairly complicated. So as a matter of simplifying all of this, the MEF thought it would be better to create a suite of standards and just call them Carrier Ethernet 2.0 uh, against which certifications could be run. So what's so different about Carrier Ethernet 2.0? Well, three broad categories of attributes are in, encapsulated in those various documents. They have to do with uh, management, the capability to be managed, multi-class of service, and interconnect. And we'll talk about those one at a time. The MEF has defined three classes of service intended for handoffs between one operator and another. These in turn have enhanced metrics Things like frame delay, frame delay variation are common in the industry and well understood, but also frame delay range and, and median frame delay are enhanced metrics used to define various classes of a service. These in turn are organized into 20 plus application types, which fit into various tiers, be they local, regional, national, and international in terms of their range, in terms of their scope. And each of those tiers has performance attributes that are appropriate for a given service. For example, a regional voice service, a regional VoIP service might have certain attributes that are different than an international video service, for example. And these are all captured in MEF 23. Under the general heading of interconnected, an entire new service type is defined in MEF 33, known as eAccess. The access creates the possibility of buyers and sellers to exchange an access service in a market where they do not have footprint. For example, a national operator may not have a presence in a given metropolitan area. That operator may become the buyer of an e-access service from a local operator who does have fiber microwave access to a given customer, a given end user in that footprint. That service would be called an e-access service, uh, it can be a point-to-point -point service that would be sold from that local operator to the end-to-end -end operator who would become the buyer. This is envisioned to really open up the carrier ethernet market because not all operators have footprint large enough to cover all of their especially multinational enterprise customers. Finally, there's an attribute just referred to as managed and what is captured here in various different documents is a framework whereby services can be managed end to end at both the service level and at the infrastructure level. What Carrier Ethernet 2.0 allows for is a lot of progress, uh, a lot of changes that have been made both in the recent past as well as foreseen changes coming in the near future to allow for services to be observed, 
reported upon, and managed in a holistic fashion on an end-to-end -end basis. So let's review. What used to be the five attributes we described with our colorful wheel are now evolving into Carrier Ethernet 2.0, a realization that the market is moving forward and reaching its mainstream, as well as a technical definition that the MEF continues to work in the years to come. We at Siena continue to support these efforts. We think these will open the market even further, allow it to accelerate, allow operators to roll out services more quickly, uh, and respond to their customers' requirements even more effectively and efficiently with the Carrier Ethernet service. Siena is participating in the MEF pilot program for CE 2.0 certification, so we'll be in the first batch of certified providers for CE 2.0 compliant solutions. And this is just one way that Siena is helping our customers build networks that change the way they compete.